Boys, today we are back and we are tight. Isn't that right, Bob? First drop, 2023, baby. Here Woo! we go. Come on. Well, actually, 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 yeah, first drop uh, ended up like this, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, some random or line, we lost everything, but yeah, we're going. First time sword fishing yes. this year. Yeah, for first trip. The first drop, we had to get everything out of the yeah, way. Yeah, that was, Screwed uh, up everything. this was, we got a mulligan in our first drop because uh, we lost everything. <laughs> but we're tight, cuz. Yeah. All right. This is behind the scenes. First day back in Venice, first day offshore. We're tied on a swordfish. We did the tuna thing this morning. We saw some big giant jumbos airing out. They didn't stay on the surface long enough to get a uh, popper. Adam trolled around for a bit. You know, these swordfish, you don't want to horse them. They have uh, very, very soft bodies and mouths. So you don't want to put heat on them like they're a giant bluefin tuna. You just want to kind of coax them up until you get the lead off but that's really when the fight starts is when you get that lead off so it could be an easy fight all the way up to the surface but once you get that lead off you might go straight back to the bottom some viewers on the channel have seen that happen before we're hoping it's nice and easy isn't that right bob hey all we can do is hope right now yeah that's right we gotta stay get tight and hope it's right where it connects Oh, he figured it out now. Pulling a little bit. Big tail beats. That's a big tail beat. Wow. Big, so long like periods. small tail beat is kind of like this, right? Like thump, 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 thump. But the bigger those tail beats are, thump, 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 thump. That's the, yeah, that's a bigger fish. Yep. He's going to run. This is a big fish, boys. Yeah, he's squirrely. I don't like that at all. Sheesh. Don't do them head shakes, fish. See how he's watching the rod tip the whole time? That rod tip will tell you everything. All the space you need to like know. That. Yep, keep it hey. down. Got it. Oh, you want to keep it out? Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know what you did, but he didn't like it. <laughs> Squirrely fish, man. Yeah, right now is the time. When he's pulling, wow. Wow. Go ahead, go ahead. Nice. Good switch, boys. Good switch. You got to make sure when you switch that the rod is completely loaded up, or uh, better yet, he's taking lines. If you let him get slack, that is a very, very good way to lose a fish. All right, so about 30 minutes later, we've been fighting this fish for a while now. And this is a quote unquote fun trip, it's not a charter. We're bringing, you know, me, Bob, Darren, and then a couple of Darren's good friends. So we're playing around a little bit. I do think, Bob, this is probably the biggest sword we've hooked together. Uh, so well over 200 pounds. It's acting that way. We haven't even gotten the lead off yet. Um, and it's it's digging Big and acting mean and doing stuff like this. But these black magic things, no free ads or anything, but like, first time I've ever been in one. Black magic, you might be getting an email from me. These things are pretty cool. <laughs> you can put a lot of heat on these fish. Yeah, that's right. These are pretty cool. Yeah. But this, uh, one's on the house. Nice this one's on the house. Appreciate you. So watch out, ain't telling where you don't go there. Enough ahead, Randy, with your hook. All right. Take a hint. Demos, you got a gap right there. Little you little got a gap right here. <laughs> yeah, stand by on that harpoon too. Unravel that harpoon there. It's kind of, it's ready to go. This fishing trip. Free, free advertising, but you got to pay for it next time, Ultra. This fishing trip is sponsored by wine coolers. <laughs> I don't see him yet. Coming out, he might jump. Hey. He's way down there. Here comes your first light. I see a light. I see blue. He's see way the, down there. I see the fish. He's I see color. the fish too. Are the, are the lights going to slide down? Yeah. Okay. Let me rubber band it okay, on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Nice sword fish. Nice sword. That's a good one. All right, here we go. It's game time right yeah, here. You're gonna hook How y'all want this handle? Nice and easy. 
There and go behind the line, hit him in the head. No harpoon, just gap him right there. Hit him. Hit him. Hold nice. Hold him. All right, we got another gap. Woo! Yes, nice sir. Job. Nice job. Here, here's a gap. Here's a gap. Gosh, I can Other side it. of the head. Nice, boys. That's there. a good one. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Just hold him right there. Hold, yeah. Hold, 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 hold. Put him down, Jimmy. Put him down. Put him down on the board. He ain't done yet. Wow. That thing fought so much harder than... That was a mean one. Good one to break us in. Right, right, right. Yeah. Straight up. You guys got to choke down. We're going straight up with it. Okay. Choke down, choke down, choke down. Ready. One, two, three. Lift. Right here. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Nice fish. Look at that chunk. Yo. Bring him in. Bring him in. Right, Over the rail, down. in the pail. Chonker. Hey, hey, nice work. That's a fat one, son. Woo, Nice work, baby. Good job, boy. Good job. Yes, sir. Good way to start the year, baby. Okay, so we're going to take How about you a bonus fish for the video? How about that? About 20 minutes in. Pretty decent fish. Definitely a kill fish. Better a super snag small one. But I doubt that because he's pulling drag. Pretty cool. We just pop them on the machine. You can mark the we're marking the fish and the lead. You got a hundred foot uh leader and uh perfectly hundred foot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We're probably like 95 feet now because we cut it down so much for uh, putting new leaders and stuff on or new swivels and whatnot, but that's pretty uh, funny. That's definitely that. Walking it out for about two minutes straight now. Jimmy's got a and Jimmy's got a small horse. That's about three or four minutes of uh, click time. It doesn't scroll very fast. I can't help them sell them on. Ooh. She's digging. Are we doing an ad read for an Oreo? Yeah. Swordfish favorite cookie. Yep. Every fish's favorite cookie, Oreo. <laughs> no free ads, but Swordfish's favorite cookie. First light off. Another good one. Another one. Look at the sound. Where you at, Joe? No, come on, don't do none of that. Good fish. Nice. Good shot. Good shot. Nice work. Woo! Man, that's another Woo! one. Woo! Yep. Number two. Good start. Number yeah. two. Right. Uh, gonna grab the bill. All right, boys. Up and over. One, two, three. Woo! Good start. Nice chunk, huh? Look at that. Number two. Number two. Bonus fish, baby. Woo! I ain't even Ooh, getting it. I ain't even getting it. Don't let go of the bill now. I got it. Ooh, you got it. Ooh, sick. Ooh. Down, man. Nice, boys. Woo! Yeah, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Good first day. Look at that. Outside the mouth, too. Yes. That secret bait, boy, that secret bait. <laughs> What'd you know about that secret bait? <laughs> <laughs> How mad or is everybody gonna be when they know that we just uh just use a spring on a chin rig of a value? It took us how long did it Ballyhoo, take us to rig that bait? Ballyhoo chin rig <laughs> spring with up. the new Seaworks weight. Seaworks 80 pounds. Yes. 80 pounds. You can do it, fellas. You don't have to go big. You can do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> it took us 20 seconds now to rig that bait. I didn't even poop him, didn't even <laughs> crack his back. Uh, 70 pound swordfish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. All right. I'll probably see you at the dock. If not, you might have some more bonus footage. All righty, gang. Back at the dock. We saw the last video. Sport Fishing Championship edition of the Gun Grip uh, Sword Knife. Pow. First time using it sword squared how about that the way i like to cut these fish is uh first of all on the ground i don't know why but i just cut swordfish a lot better um uh, on the ground for some reason i really don't know why but i get perfect cuts every single time so the way i like to do these fish especially bigger ones is uh section them out just section them out just one little piece at a time Oh my gosh, this knife is almost too sharp.
just like that. Boom. Big chunks. You all sure ready? Yeah, you ready? Just like that. Way easier to manage these big giant pieces um, when you when you stake them out like this. Boom. Just like that. Quick and easy. Boom. Just like that, easy as pie. Way easier, I mean, the, the filet is honestly, it's so heavy. Um, that sectioning, in, sectioning it out like that is uh, way, way easier, more manageable. Uh, I've done it both ways, and this way is way easier and especially way faster, which is really the most important thing. But uh, I will see you guys in the kitchen. It was crazy. Last couple bluefin you've seen, full of pogies. Kingfish full of pogies. Wahoo sometimes full of pogies. Swordfish, they live 1,500 feet down. Guess what they do in the middle of the night? They come to the surface. And they eat pogies. What? That's crazy. That's my first one. And it's not just one. There's another one. Uh, there's a very <laughs> decomposed another one. Uh, lots of pogies. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll see you in the kitchen now. Now I'll see you in the kitchen. Alrighty, gang, back here at the shed. I'm cooking lunch for the boys right now. We got a big work day. We're taking a lunch break. And I'm cutting these in, you know, one inch thick medallions. Got some jambalaya cooking. I was gonna do salt and pepper on these things. Uh, we don't have any salt and pepper. This place is brand new um, and just stock at the kitchen. So full Cajun meal it is. We're gonna put some Cajun seasoning on it, a little olive oil in the pan. The only thing you can do wrong with swordfish is overcook it. You kind of want to cook it like a pork chop which is barely, barely cooked in the middle. Uh, you'll dry it out pretty bad if you overcook it, but. A little bit of olive oil in the pan. Are you cooking the lunch, Oh yeah. Yeah, here we go. One of my favorite fish to eat. I haven't eaten it in a long time and I'm very, very excited right now. I cannot wait. Let's see what we're looking like a couple minutes in. Oh yeah, looking good. Alrighty gang, it's time. About five minutes later, it smells amazing. Oh yes. Oh yeah. It's looking really, really good. Smelling really, really good. Jambalaya also smells amazing. Get this off the heat. Jambalaya is looking real good. Damn. Yeah. So we're gonna take a nice lunch break. We might have to take a nap after this. This is a dense meal right here. All right. Yeah, no more waxing after this. <laughs> We're putting a ceramic coat on the boat right now. Ceramic coat. All righty. Do they have silverware in here yet? No, I think we were using our hands last night. Yeah. I thought I saw some forks. Here we go. We got forks and spoons and one metal fork. All righty, Rob. You get to be my tester. I'm the tester? Yes, you're the tester. Guys, welcome back. Rob, aka Rigid Fishing on YouTube. What's up, gang? Finally back uh, from Rhode Island. How's that sword taste, buddy? Good? Mighty. How's it cooked? Just perfect in the perfect. middle? Nice. Flaky. Chairs yeah. right off. Yeah, I got it. I got lucky there. I got it absolutely perfect. Jambalaya time. Jambalaya time. Review 10 out of uh, 3 out of 10. Give me a score. A little hot. <laughs> Really hot? Hotter. <laughs> yeah. 
It's good though. Good spices. <laughs> yeah. Good flavor. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about the language. Folks, my throat feels like Hades just climbed down it. <laughs> Good though. <laughs> That's good. Well, all right, boys, we're gonna enjoy this lunch. We got some big trips up coming up. Big Tina, more big swords. Big so everything. yeah, so if you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe, you know? And me and Rigid Fishing over here are gonna get after him tomorrow. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.